Software Planner has the ability to import Microsoft Project Plans as well as export Software Planner Project Plans into Microsoft Project. To begin with this, you'll go to the Project Management tab of Software Planner, then you'll click on Project Plans. If you have not installed the uh, connectivity between Microsoft Project and Software Planner, you'll want to do that at this point. To do that, you simply press on this Microsoft Project plugin. It'll give you a little tip here about how to download the plugin. You simply just hover over this and press uh, that, and then it'll take you through a normal install. Once the install is done and you open up Microsoft Project, you will see a new item. I'll open up Microsoft Project now. Once you open up Microsoft Project, notice you'll have a software planner icon here. <clears throat> so let's imagine that you had this software planner project plan here, uh, your release one, sprint one, and you just wanted to bring it into Microsoft Project, maybe because you wanted to look at uh, the resource allocation a little differently or maybe use the nice Gantt charts that Microsoft Project has. Well, you can very easily do that. To do that, you first go into Microsoft Project, you press Software Planner, and then Import Project Plan. Once you press on the Import Project Plan, it'll open up a little dialog asking you what project plan from Software Planner you'd like to import. Now, if you haven't set up the connectivity settings yet, it'll, it'll uh, further ask you for that. And that can be done by pressing on this third button here called Settings. From here, you'll type in your email address that you connect with Software Planner and the password. Then you'll press Load Projects. As soon as you press Load Projects, it'll fill up this project combo box. And this will be the Software Planner project that you want this Microsoft project plan to be read from. Once that's done, you simply uh, choose a project plan to import. Here we're going to do the Sprint 1 development plan. Press Import and then it will create a Microsoft Project Plan based on what you're seeing over in Software Planner. Now notice that you can see durations, you can see start and end dates, you can also use the Gantt capability here to look at dependencies. So I can scroll this over a little bit and look at uh, all of my activities day by day. Uh, I can also see the full list over here as you would expect uh, from Microsoft Project. Now, if I want to do the reverse of this, let's say that I had been working on a Microsoft Project Plan and I wanted to import that into Software Planner. Can I do that? Sure, you can do that. To do that, you simply would close this out and then you would just create a new plan. So let's say that we were planning um, uh, a new project here. Maybe we're doing a Release 2.0 project. And we'll just keep this simple. Let's say we have some analysis, some design, some coding and some testing that has to happen. So we want to indent all of these using Microsoft Project. All right, and then we also want to assign it to somebody. Let's say I want to assign this to SM for Steve Miller. Okay, and let's say that we also wanted to place estimates on here: 16 hours of work for analysis, 24 for design, 24 for coding, and 12 for testing. And maybe I want to set some predecessors up. I can also do that as well. I can link those together. All right, and it pushes out the dates. Now at this point, I could save this locally. I'll just save this here as uh, release 2.0. Now if I want to take this plan and bring it into Software Planner, all right, I just press on Software Planner Export Plan. At this point, it will then connect to our web services and ask us to name the plan. Let's call it release 2.0. We'll also choose Steve Miller as the uh, project plan owner and Steve Miller as the project plan manager. And then we'll also, it'll also look within all of the resources that you mapped here and allow you to map that to a resource inside of Software Planner. Now before we do this import, I'll pop back over to Software Planner and go back to our project plans area. Notice that we don't have, actually we do have a release 2.0 here. Let me go ahead and delete this release 2.0 here before we do this. I'll go ahead and delete this plan. All right. So once that's gone, there will not be a release 2.0 here. So at this point, we do want to import the release 2. So I'll pop back over to here, and I'll simply tell it to export that. Okay. And notice the messages down here. It's telling you that it just created a new plan uh, with ID 4313. Now, if I pop back over into Software Planner and refresh by clicking on Project Plans, we'll now see that we have our release 2.0 plan. 
and you can see all of the tasks here. We have the analysis, the design, the coding, etc. And you can see the resource allocations and all of that. So uh, that's how easy it is to import into Software Planner and export out. Now it's important to note that these do not uh, keep each other in sync. In other words, you couldn't export out of Microsoft uh, of Software Planner into Microsoft uh, Project, make a lot of changes, save your changes, and then re-import your changes back in. It's not really designed for that. It's designed for a, a clean export and import. Thank you.